there's a lot of kind of like a pendular conversation between Latin American poetry and American poetry. And I realized that this poem, it's a, it was really based on a poem by a great Central American poet named Eunice Odio. And she has a poem that she writes to the great Mexican poet, Carlos Pellicer. And the poem is in the form of a letter. And then I'd come across another poem that Ginsburg and Orlowski wrote together as an open letter to Charlie Chaplin. So I kind of took the form and, and ran with it. It's called um, A Letter to Thelonious Monk. Yeah. Yes. My dear friend Thelonious, I'm a poet, father of one son, a gruff husband, a friend who returns calls but prefers to be alone. In my living room, I listen to your music while my four-year-old spins around in circles. Sometimes I write a poem. When the Greeks asked for God's favor at the bonfire, if a spark shot up, they knew their wish was granted. I like to think that your fingers are the tinder and they leave my ears burning. Some friends say your technique's percussive and quirky, percolating with the sour apples and parrots of random dissonance. But have they ever heard the lolling embarkation, a swirling of dark water and coolness in the opening chords of Crepuscle with Nelly? And during the last bars of Ruby, my dear, when your fingers bunny hop down the keys in a whole tone scale, a thousand doors open where I only saw a wall. It would be nice if you were here to play me just one piece, preferably one that sounded like shock absorbers pumping over the potholes and dust of my suburbs. Among the Sephardim of Morocco, it was an adage that if one could only see oneself from across the marketplace, there might be hope of profit and the Messiah returning. I have sat in restaurants eating alone, seen the desert through the moving window of a bus, made love and sat awake in the dark <clears throat> and committed the treasons and robberies of every man. Yet I have never seen my own self wave to me. But I sense that in the chords you would recycle, you would catch your shadow off guard and watch the music that shimmers when one can see through one's own skin. That's it. I also wanted to tell you that I still listen to off minor, and I don't know how the soloist, soloists can follow the chord changes. <laughs> and that if I were able to transcribe nutty, I would know the trajectory of pollen. <laughs> know me your admirer, Anthony Seidman. P.S. I also wish you the traffic of my poems and all of their itineraries, such as the clarity of water and the teeth of children laughing. Thank you.